Hello Explorers, and welcome to my Super Science Lab. My name is Dr. Witty, and I am so excited you are here today. We are about to go on an incredible journey. It is a mission to a place you visit every single day, but have never truly seen before. It is a world full of amazing secrets and incredible powers. We are going to travel deep inside the human body. Our mission, should you choose to accept it, is to uncover the ultimate secret. It's the secret of strength and movement. Every great explorer needs a team of expert guides, and I have the best team right here with me. Please give a big welcome to the one, the only, Bony Leo. Wow, look at him. He can even change his size to become super small. He can become super big. He can also become transparent so we can see right through him to learn how everything works. Next up, we need someone who is great at asking questions. Let me introduce our chief investigator, the wonderful Maya. Maya will be joining our journey today. Her job is to ask all the important questions you might be thinking. But wait, before we begin our big mission, I have a super fun fact for you. Did you know that when you were a tiny baby, you had more bones than you do right now? Babies have around 300 bones, but grown-ups only have 206. Well, as you grow bigger and stronger, some of those little bones join together to make bigger, stronger ones. That means I need your help. I want you to join in on all the fun activities. Our first stop is the Body Construction Workshop, where we will learn how your bones give you your shape and help you stand tall. Let's go. All right, team, our shrinking sequence is complete. Welcome to our first stop, the Body Construction Workshop. Bony Leo, can you show us what you mean by bones are our pillars? Your bones are those beams and columns. They give you shape and hold you up against gravity. So our bones are like the metal frame of a robot? That's a perfect way to think about it, Maya. Your skeleton is the internal frame everything is built on. Next stop, the super flexible central tower, the spine. Dr. Witty, I thought the spine was just one long straight bone, but it looks like a stack of building blocks. That is a brilliant observation, Maya. It is actually made of 33 small individual bones called vertebrae. Watch as he bends forward. Watch as he bends backward. Watch as he bends side to side. What are those little cushions? Those are called intervertebral discs. They are like tiny jelly donuts. These discs act as shock absorbers. Let's travel down to meet two of the most important star bones of support. This is the femur, also known as the thigh bone. It is the longest, heaviest, and strongest bone in your whole body. Now, let's look at where the femurs connect at the top. This wide, bowl-shaped structure is called the pelvis. You can think of your pelvis as your body's built-in belt. It's a super strong ring of bones that connects your spine to your legs. It provides a stable base that helps you do things like sit down comfortably in a chair or balance while you stand on one foot. Get ready. We are shrinking down even smaller and entering our next mini journey, the organ bunker. Inside your body are very important, very soft organs. They are squishy and delicate and need to be kept safe from bumps and bangs. That's where your bones come in. They act like a team of super strong bodyguards. Our first stop is the most important security vault in the entire body. Let's go check out the amazing bone that protects your body's command center. It looks like one big round bone, but I see little crack lines all over it. It might look like a single piece, but your skull is actually made of many different flat bones. As you got older, these bony plates fused along lines called sutures. Next stop, the rib cage. Your rib cage is made up of 12 pairs of long curved bones called ribs. The top seven pairs are called true ribs. The next three pairs are called false ribs. Those are the floating ribs, attached only to the spine. Let's do an activity to feel how it works. First, I want you to gently place your hands on the sides of your chest, right over your ribs. Are you ready? One, two, three, Breathe in. What did you feel? Now, let's breathe all the air out. Whoosh! Feel your hands move back down and in. 
It's like a protective accordion that expands and contracts with every single breath you take. Welcome to the joint party. This is where all the action happens. The secret isn't in the bones themselves, but in the special places where they meet. These meeting points are called joints. Dr. Witty, do all the joints move in the same way? Your knees are perfect examples of hinge joints. Your elbows are perfect examples of hinge joints. They only bend in one direction. Shoulders and hips. They allow for full circular movement. Ligaments are the elastic ropes that hold bones together at the joints. Dr. Witty, my grandpa sometimes cracks his knuckles. What makes that popping sound? The pop is the sound of those bubbles bursting. It's not the bones cracking or breaking. Hold on tight, explorers. We are about to uncover the deepest, most amazing secret of your entire skeleton. Welcome to the marrow lab. The outer layer is incredibly hard. This is called compact bone. Here, it looks like a sponge. This is called spongy bone. All of those little spaces and gaps within the spongy bone are filled with a special jelly-like substance. It is called bone marrow. Its job is to produce all of the blood cells for your entire body. These are the red blood cells. Their job is to be like tiny delivery trucks. These are the white blood cells. They are your body's personal army, fighting off germs and sickness to keep you healthy. Your bones also act as your body's main storage facility, or bank, for a very important mineral. The answer is calcium. Why are bones white? The main reason bones appear white is because they are packed full of this calcium phosphate mineral. Let's take a moment to quickly recap the three main superpowers of your bones that we discovered on our incredible quest today. First, we visited the body construction workshop and learned that bones give you support. Next, we explored the organ bunker, where we discovered the second superpower, protection. Finally, we danced our way through the joint party to learn about the third superpower movement. A superhero needs the right fuel to stay strong. Your bones love calcium and vitamin D. Bones get stronger when you do weight-bearing exercises. Think about things like running, jumping, hopping, skipping. And finally, a very important tip for every superhero, protect your powers. It's always best to prevent fractures in the first place. Will my bones keep growing and getting stronger? The answer is a big, giant yes. Everything you do today is helping to build the strong, amazing skeleton you will have for the rest of your life. Thank you so much for joining us on this super skeleton adventure. Goodbye for now, super explorers. Wave goodbye, everyone. Bye-bye.